The Color Component tool is in the Presence Discrimination tool category. It is a tool that can inspect and monitor the actual color levels that are present in the inspection region. It can be used to confirm the presence of a certain color to see if a part is there or not, and to prevent product mixing. This tool is only available with color cameras. In the generic function list, the tool is known as Inspect Colors. Once the tool is added, the first step will be to register the image if you have not done so already. The registered image is an image that is stored with the program settings and can be used to set up the tools. In this example, the image has already been registered and I have another tool set up for position correction already. The next step will be to set up the inspection region. This is the region where you want to analyze the color information. As a default, rectangle is selected, but you can choose from rotated rectangle, circle, oval, ring, arc, and polygon. In this example, we have a round cap, so what we're going to do is choose circle. So just follow the instructions to set up the region as necessary. In this example, we'll go ahead and click the three points and set up our inspection region around the cap. Click OK when the region is set. The next step in the tool setup will be to select the color system that you want to work in. As a default, it will analyze the color in RGB or red, green, blue levels as you can see here. It is displaying the average red, average green, and average blue levels in our inspection region. You can confirm the average red, green, blue levels on the registered image by selecting registered image here in the upper left or on the current image. If you select current image, you can go ahead and trigger on some parts and view and monitor the different levels. You can see as different colors appear, the levels will change accordingly. Here's a white cap, and then here's a yellow cap, so you can confirm the levels. If you'd rather work in the hue, saturation, and brightness levels, just simply select HSB from detection conditions. You can see the measured values will change to the average hue, average saturation, and average brightness. And again, I can confirm the values on the reference image, as well as cycling through parts, just like before. See, here's the red cap, here's the white cap, and here's the yellow cap. We'll leave it on HSB for this example. The final setup in the tool setup will be to set up your judgment conditions. In other words, your pass-fail limits for the tool. To do this, I will change this to reference image just to at least start with my reference values. In this example, the blue cap is going to be our good condition, so we want this to pass when the blue cap is present and fail when the other colors are present. To do that, I'll set an upper or lower limit on the hue element, which is the color element of the part. So you can see here the measured value for the blue cap is around 165 for the hue, so we'll set a tolerance, an upper tolerance of about 167, and we'll set a lower tolerance about 163. Once we have the upper and lower set, we can go ahead and cycle through and run some of the parts if we'd like. So you can see, as long as the measured value falls within the upper and lower limit, the tool will pass and correctly, OK. If the hue value falls outside the range, the tool will fail. As you can see here, it's failing the red cap. It fails the white cap. And it fails the yellow cap. And all the blue caps are passing. So. It looks like our tolerance is pretty good, but you could adjust that as necessary when you run some more good and bad parts. If you need to, you can continue and set more tolerances on the other average values of the saturation and brightness. You can also click this little double arrow here and get to the standard deviation of each level. You can set a tolerance on that, as well as the min and max intensity or density of each of the values as well. But as soon as you're done setting the tolerance, go ahead and click OK to complete the tool setup. Your tool is now complete and you can run parts.